my channel on youtube and i'm so happy to see you what's up y'all okay look at my skin look at my skin my skin looking good right now oh uh, hi so i have a question right only person for show for show who talks about this that i know lives this lifestyle and um from what she says is nyla nyla says nyla vibes and what i want to know is for the women who for example, like Nyla, who stay at home and the husband does the work and everything like that. Did you have a degree? Did you give up your degree? Did you just stop working? Was it a communication? I know in this time right now, women are talking about because, okay, let me get my thoughts together. Growing up in the society, what I know is that women go to work and their husbands go to work. And that creates a lifestyle that we mostly know as 50-50. So what will happen is, the, um, depending on your household, it could be, okay, I'll pay the mortgage, you pay all the bills, or um, we split everything down the middle. And from discovering this, I guess, once I discovered this side of YouTube that's not just focused on what I do, which is like rants and reviews of shows and whatever's going on, um, I got into the women who talk about finding a man who takes care of you, right? And I, well, at first I was like, but why? But this, okay, this is not at first. This is kind of how I feel, right? I am working hard to go to college, to finish these classes, to pass these classes, to get an MF in degree, to get me a wonderful career. What I, so how does it go? Like you get your degree and then you meet a man and he's rich and he got all this money and you just don't go to work? Is that what happens? Because a thought of mine is, so did you go to school and then take up a spot in a class that could have been for someone else because you know how the nursing field is very competitive and the school I go to, there's a waiting list for it, right? So it'll be like kind of messed up or a little bit kind of selfish to take up a class position for someone who actually want to do it and keep the career as opposed to you, you do it and then you don't work with it. And it was, I don't know, because how I feel is I am still in that mindset of I'm not going to depend on somebody for everything because I'm not going to allow somebody to give me allowance and tell me how much money they're going to give me and how I'm going to do everything. You're going to control everything and I don't want to do that. I don't want to have an account with you and then like, oh, you have a debit card, I have a debit card and then you can see what I do and I see what you do. I don't want to know what you do with your money because I'm psycho. Then I'll be like, why are we at Walmart? What you buy at Walmart? Oh, um, I, I just bought a, a gallon of juice. But why you buy? See, I'm gonna do too much. I'm a little extra. I know I am. So I don't want a card on the same account. Also, I don't want to sit at home and then wait for you to be like, "Hey, babe, here go five hundred dollars." It sounds nice to have a man sponsor and take care of you, and you stay home with the kids. But won't you get bored? I mean, what about when the kids go to school? I could understand. This is the one thing I do understand. I could understand this. Once you have the children up until they go to elementary school, you stay at home, you raise the kids. I understand that, that I can understand. You don't want to put your kids in a daycare. You don't want to spend the thousands of dollars that goes in a daycare or the hundreds every week, however that goes. And you don't want to do that. I can understand that. And then when the kids turn five, you might decide, okay, now I'm going to go to work. And then, you know, we do what we got to do. Because once the kids go to school, okay, I guess, like, when the kids are at school, you could cook, you could clean, you could do laundry and all that other stuff. Because I know the whole idea of some of the women I listen to is that that's a roommate. If I'm paying bills and you paying bills, that's a roommate. And I guess if you're a stay-at-home mom, you're not bored because you're cleaning and cooking. 
Okay, I guess I'm kind of answering my question a little bit that I'm about to ask. <sighs> hmm. I think I kind of understand it now. <laughs> I guess the whole thing is you're at home, you're keeping the house clean, you're cooking, you're doing the laundry, you're going shopping. Are you going shopping or he does the shopping? I don't know. Because the whole thing is I hear that women are like, I'm not about to go to work and come home and do all this. Because let me tell y'all something. Uh, uh, a couple of months ago, I went to work. And then I went to the stove. And I went home and something to eat. Because I wanted, I was craving something to eat. And I really wanted it. So I got home. So I went to work in the morning. Went to the supermarket. Got home. Cooked. And I didn't go to bed until like 8 o'clock. Because you know when you're cooking, you cleaning while you're cooking. Then you got to eat the food. Then you got to go and take a shower. Then you got to put stuff away. And it's like, I just did that one day because I was hungry. So I can imagine for women who go to work and take care of home, that's a lot. My whole thing, I guess the major question I had was, when you do that, do you give up your degree? Like, do you have that mindset early on or is it you come across it because i don't feel like i wasted my time going to school and paying for these classes and, and buying these textbooks and, and listening to these professors and doing all this stuff and i don't think i want to do all that if i could save myself the time of going to school and going to college and paying and having to deal with papers and pages and paragraphs and work side of page and annotated bibliographies and we could have prevented that so I didn't have to do that. And a stay at home mom is a job because you cook and you clean and you do laundry, but you don't do laundry every day, but you do one laundry once a week, as opposed to women who actually go to work, do an eight hour shift, come home. Cause for me, I don't want to go pick up my kids from school, right? So it would be go to work, go pick up my child from school, get home, feed my child, feed myself, feed a, a husband, then, take child a uh, bath, make sure child takes a bath, does her homework, then I go take a bath and do the homework, then I gotta set up everything. So I, I see, <laughs> I see. The idea is that you're married to someone who takes care of you, who you can depend on. That's not gonna complain because men complain. <laughs> And is your husband working two jobs? Because if I don't want my man working two jobs or I don't see you, it's like you come home, take a shower, I give you a bowl to go to your second job and then I don't see you till like midnight. Because if your man works two jobs, it'll probably be like a, a seven to like three or like six to two and then three to 11. And then he comes home at midnight and then he's tired and then y'all don't spend no time together. I don't want to eat. So, <laughs> Is, what is he a doctor or a lawyer? We know not every man is a doctor or a lawyer. So what's he doing and make all that money? Because I don't want you working two jobs. Because I want you to come home and come cuddle with me. What do you think about being a kept woman? Is that the right word to say? I don't know if that's the right word to say. Because I don't want to say it and it sound real nasty or sound real big or whatever. So how do you feel about being a woman who is a housewife um a stay-at-home mom would you want to do it if you are a housewife how is it do you like it did you go to school and give up your degree did you not go there is it something you decide when you meet someone did you know that was in your mind before you met anybody uh let me know because i want to know because I feel like I'm going to school for this degree. <laughs> I'm trying to find me a job. Not a job, a career. Okay. A career. And I don't know if I would want to give up my career. Because I'm going to need somebody to understand. Like, I, I went to school for this. If you want me to work part-time, okay. I'll work part-time. And I keep my money. Because, listen, if it's okay with you to pay all the bills and I keep my money to go do my her and my nails and some clothes that's fine that's fine i could go to work and my money will be for me and i guess the kids right <laughs> and then your money will pay the house and the bills i i could do that i could do that that i could do but i let me get let me let me keep my job and my nice career making all this money and, and living real comfortable 
and I'm gonna use that money I make to buy me some clothes and do my hair and experiment all the stuff and buy some things and then the money you make can pay for the mortgage, can pay for the light bill, can pay for the water bill, can pay for the uh, 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 electricity bill or depending on what state you live, gas bill. Um, we can do that, okay? I don't mind that lifestyle, okay? Because I, I don't see myself giving up my degree um, for a relationship that I work hard for to obtain. I like the way my skin looks. I'm not gonna lie, it's shiny. God dang it, okay, <laughs> okay. But yeah, um, I could, um, I lost my train of thought. Comment down below, let me know. I, I wish to have conversations with women. Are living that lifestyle? Uh, also to know if you're with a, uh, a black man or a non-black man. Um, and how you like it. And did you have to give up anything for it? I would love to see some comments and some conversations so I can have more insight so I can know if I should step my game up. <laughs> okay, uh, all right. Um, like, comment, subscribe, and please come back for more Emerald Zone. I'm out. Peace.